pop out shape images. So here, it's a little trick I I think I picked this up from one skill over on YouTube. He does a great job of PowerPoint tutorials and he created these like cool little effects using shapes. I call them pop-outs. And I thought it would be useful to just go over that little piece of the, I don't know, 20 minute <laughs> tutorial that he did. And it's a neat little technique that we can use for a couple of different things, including a little exercise in learning about merge shapes in PowerPoint. So you can make all kinds of these neat little um, assets and images and use them in different ways. I'll show you some examples of that. Here I have uh, myself on a background with transparency inside the shape. And of course you can animate them and all that good stuff inside of PowerPoint. So that's not a real big deal. But I just thought it was kind of an interesting type of a thing. So let's see if we can try this a little bit. Let's insert a, a blank slide. And I think I'm going to format the background just to make things a little more visible. And then let's go through this little process and procedure. So I'm going to go insert a shape. And some shapes for this work much better than others. And the ones that actually work the best, probably the triangle. And we'll see why in just a second. But anything that has fixed angles, so something like a circle is it's kind of doable, but it's a whole bunch tougher. And you got to just work a lot harder at it. So I think for our demo here, we're just going to kind of stick with a single kind of a deal. I'm going to just draw me out a triangle like that. And let's see. Let's go to the shape outline. And for the width, I'm going to go to more which pops up the format shape properties. Okay, and let's give this a width of about, oh, I don't know, 10 pixels, something like that. And let's change the color to white. Right, so that'll kind of demo a little bit nicely. And let's rotate it. And I'm just going to kind of rotate it. The secret sauce here is that with a triangle, we have these very distinct angles. Okay, so keep that in mind and we'll kind of press onwards here. And for the fill, for this example, let's change it to no fill, right? So the next thing is I need an image to, well, pop out of this thing. So what we need is a, basically an image that has the background removed, right? And you can take a picture of yourself or whatever and try to remove it in PowerPoint, but that's kind of a pain. So my favorite resource, of course, is remove.bg. Go to remove.bg and you can upload an image and it will remove the background for you. We've talked about this a bunch. One of my favorite, favorite tools because of all its awesomeness, right? So it does a beautiful job, right? And you can get some really quality images what we want, of course, is everywhere you see checkerboard here, this is transparent, right? And everybody gets that. So let's go find us a transparent image. I'm going to go to Insert, Pictures. I have gone to remove.bg and removed a bunch of BGs. So I'm just going to go ahead and use myself as an example here. And we'll insert this, hold my shift key, and let's make it some bigger. And what I want to do is just kind of position it here so that part of me is outside of the shape because that's kind of the effect that we get here, right? But what you notice is in this finished example, I am actually inside the shape. Well, if you just put the image on top of the shape, right? See all this overhang and all that good stuff that I have? Well, let's go ahead and see about fixing that. I want to make sure that I don't have any gaps down here. See, I got this little part right here. I want to make sure part of my image is in there. 
and this will probably pop out kind of nicely. I could even rotate it a little bit if I want. And let's go ahead and try that. There we go. So I'm just sizing and kind of positioning here. So let's go ahead and open up the selection pane. So we'll be kind of using this in just a second. And for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and turn my picture off. Right. So now the next step is I'm going to take my triangle and I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. And I think while we're here, I'm also going to go to Shape Format and let's change the color of that so that I can differentiate it from my original one. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll kind of take this second copy and slide it right into that angle. Okay, everybody see that? Let's zoom in just a little bit. I'm zoomed in to this angle here. And now let's turn our picture back on. And what I need to have happen is our second copy here, this triangle needs to envelop the part of my image that will pop out the top of the shape. So what I'm going to do is hold my shift key and I'm just going to make this bigger until that happens. Right? So now I have my shape, my second shape, that basically give, is giving me a little template almost of what it is I want to merge up and I'll show you how that works. So now let's hide our original. Let's click on our image. Let's press the shift key and hold and let's click on our second shape that we created. Okay, we'll go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, and we'll do an Intersect. Okay, so what that did was it basically took, let's undo that. What Intersect does is it says take everything that is common to both my picture and this shape. Okay, so the shape is a triangle, right? The picture is a picture. That which is common to both of them is what? It's going to be this, whatever's inside this triangle. Okay, so let's do that intersect. Boom. And that's what we get. Now, let's turn our original back on. And now we just got to make a little bit of an adjustment here. So we'll take our image and just kind of tuck it down. You can use your arrow keys. So I'm trying to get rid of any gaps here. Anything like that. Scooch it down. And then boom. There we go. Pretty cool, right? I like it. Sweet. At that point, what we can do, of course, is highlight them both. Right click and group them. And now, if we want, we can hold the shift key and resize. Everything gets resized together. And the way we constructed this, remember, we took the fill color out of the shape. So this is a transparent background. If I want, I could put it, like I say, on top of a image or whatever my color background is. Okay, and we get that kind of action if that's what you want. You also can click on it. Click on the triangle shape and we could also put a fill back in if we want. So let's say I want a color background or I could even put a picture as that background. So let's see that shape fill. Uh, let's use a picture. Let's pick, oh, just something that we will be able to see, like a pattern or something like that. And there you go. So you can have like all kinds of fun with this. Once we group it, you can, of course, leverage this by right clicking, save as picture, make sure you save it as a PNG. So we'll call this 
line one triangle as an example and then you can also pull it into Camtasia. So let's go find that guy and there it is. Drop it into Camtasia and now I have a nice little asset that I can use in all kinds of other ways, right? Uh, any questions on that? Okay.